everyone welcome back to the channel we got the dinos out so you know what that means another dino day today's gonna be pretty cool though you guys bringing a turbo volkswagen bug so we're just waiting for him to show up then we'll get going check this thing out that thing's pretty cool <laughs> got a holly sniper on it but it's a draw through on the turbo so we're thinking uh he's had some drivability issues and we're thinking it's puddling up some fuel down in here but i'm going to get into the tune i actually got my cable ran across the side of the car here laptops inside i downloaded the sniper software uh so we might have to update some things but really cool little turbo bug and mostly mostly worried about drivability on this thing we're gonna take it for a drive and then slap it on the hubs here and see what this thing will make what do you think it makes power wise or what do you, what's your guess like what do you the think best it could make did on a 1600 with 60 horsepower this is 1835 the way it is if i see 90 really i'd be tickled <laughs> you know <laughs> and it scoots pretty fair you know it yeah it doesn't weigh anything right i mean it's super ride, yeah. light yeah 1450 i think on the registration wow yeah so. that's crazy <laughs> super cool so we're gonna go take this thing for a little drive and see what it does all right guys so i just pulled the tune out mostly it's been tuned off of this little dash and just kind of the base setup in the sniper uh but on here you can see where it's wanting to pull 40 percent fuel and i'm assuming this is probably where it's bogging and kind of cruise and uh, all that stuff drivability and then up top it's wanting to add a bunch of fuel so we need to get through here and you know try to get this thing within five six eight percent uh over overall the whole map hopefully so we're gonna uh, go ahead and look at all that and so i'm gonna go in and mess with the learn table and the target air fuel this was actually from the sniper uh this is how it looked when i first opened it up as you guys can see it's actually at 13.3 at idle and cruise which is which is pretty rich so that's not helping the situation at all uh, so i'll go ahead and rebuild out my target air fuel map and then we will go for a drive and then start playing with the learn table and starting to transfer everything over. Something that was kind of crazy on the tune here is now that I've fixed it, it goes from one pound of boost to 21. It literally had one to 21 in like the last four cells. So now I smoothed that all out. So now we actually have area to look at when we're in boost and then a good area for driving and part throttle. It was pretty much all vacuum, part throttle, and then boost. We only had a couple little cells up here. So uh this is looking much better and then we'll go drive it and start transferring over some of the data All right, guys so we're starting to make a little bit of progress made 125 then 127 air fuels coming in still a little rich right here as it kind of tips in and everything uh we're gonna keep playing with it just a little bit more but 5200 rpm what's really weird is this pocket i don't like it but this is the only way it's happy no matter what um it wants to pull a bunch of fuel right here and this kind of as you're driving it comes up and it works its way this way and then when you let out of it it comes through this area well if we put fuel here it wants to die it like almost chokes it out so i don't know if this is part of like the draw through deal on the uh holly where it, it maybe it's puddling fuel so this helps clean it out from puddling or whatnot but kind of interesting but we're starting to starting to work our way up through here can see on that last pull need to pull a little bit of fuel here but otherwise it's within a couple percent up top so not bad actually revved out pretty nice there made what 126 right there so we made 127 125 126 so i think we're i think we're about there with this thing um now we need to try to get back out on the road and drive it so on cars like this with a sniper, you have to figure out how you're going to control your timing, either with a box, a secondary box, whatever this has, uh, like a CB black box in it, I guess is what they call it. So yeah. here is the timing table, and we got, it had like 19, and I think that was part of why we were fighting some of the idle stuff, so I went ahead and put some more timing in it there, and then it goes to 22, uh, so more or less those pulls were at 19 degrees of timing, and now that we got the little boost line and everything hooked up, um, we should be good. 
Earlier, we thought the boost line was creating an issue with vacuum. Uh, turns out that's not the problem. We don't think. Uh, it looks like the IAX actually hanging on the sniper for some reason randomly. Um, so we're going to go ahead and make a couple more pulls of timing, see if we can adjust that, see if we can make it a little bit more power, see if it's happy, and then go from there. So we went ahead and made a pull, went from 19 to 22, really didn't make any, uh, any more power, so put it back down to 20. But we did add a bunch of timing down here at idle, and it, it's a lot crisper, a lot better, where it had 19, now it's got 26. The map was kind of previously set up where it went from uh, low to high, where it should kind of go from high to low into boost. So uh, this should be a little bit happier. So we're going to go ahead and get it off the dyno, go drive it, and try to just make sure everything's good drivability, and then send it on its way. Guys, there's the final runs. Made 127, 125, 126, 125. So super consistent, added timing, pulled timing, leaned it out a little bit, added some fuel. It all made around that same power, so that's just where it wants to be. Came over here to get some food, and there he goes. Um, <laughs> that thing's pretty cool. So the dinos are all put away. We're done for the day. Uh, the drivability on that thing is just a ton better. Just had him drive it around. Well, I just kind of verified everything from the dyno, made a few small adjustments, kind of locked down the learn uh, so it can't take off too much. But with it being a draw through, it seems like it it definitely wants some uh, ability to kind of chase itself around. I don't know if it's because it like maybe puddles up fuel in that intake and then wants to clean out and all that. But drivability from when it showed up is just night and day difference. And up top, it feels really pretty good. It pulls all the way up through there without stumbling and everything like that. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this dyno video. More to come. See you guys next time.